Hey everybody, something that I really thought that would be interesting to some of you. As you may know, I'm pretty new to crafting, and when I say crafting, I really just wanted to make some shirts, hats, and stickers, and stuff like that for my tool review channel. But as I've gotten into this, I've really gotten into it, it's been really interesting because this is basically just a mini CNC machine, and I've been able to make some really cool stuff. Here's the biggest problem that I have. I have no room in my house for a craft room. I have no table that can just remain a craft table. In fact, I really just don't have any room that I can leave the machine or my supplies out in order to do this. So I had to come up with a mobile solution. And while you're looking at it, uh, at Home Depot, Husky sells a new line of a tool organization management system. And it's actually three toolboxes that you can continue to stack them on and they interlock together. So I thought it would be a really good idea to see if I could take one of these toolboxes. They're sold for $89 for the entire set. And on the back of it, just so you have a good understanding, it has the handle, but the handle retracts and locks down, and then it comes back. But I wanted to find out if I could do everything from this. That means when I'm done using the pry cut or the, the cricket machine and the other crafts and stuff that I could just put it up and store it away compactly and it doesn't really affect anything. So I think that I came up with that solution and pretty much this has worked out pretty well. The only thing that you need to do is you can pull this to a table, get a chair, set everything up and put it back. So anyways, let's pull in a little bit closer and I'm going to show you how this is made, what I did to modify it, how I fit the machine on, and how I actually mounted the machine, and it doesn't fall off. All right, so I'm going to push down the handle in the back, and let's start from the top and let's move our way down. First of all, this is the machine up top. There's little locks on the side right here, so you pull them out, you pull this out, and this entire tray comes out. Now, as you can see, I can set it on the floor, but here on top, this is just a clear organization system, and you can continue to stack the uh, toolboxes, but inside here, I actually have some extra stickers. It's hard to... Okay, so that's a little bit better, but as you can see in here, I have all of the Cricut tools in here, scissors, the weeding tools, things like that. Now, I can also just take this out, this whole bin, move it wherever I want. Here I have some infusible ink markers, razor blades, you know, I have the little squeegee tool here, extra blades for the material cutter that I have. So this is just a basic see-through on top storage bin that I have. So this comes off. Now you have the bigger section down here, it stays up by itself. Now take a look at this, this is pretty cool. I have the Cricut pressing machine, I have all the cords that's needed here for, uh, for the uh, Cricut machine itself, the cutting machine. So we'll just take these out, set them aside. And then down here, I actually have the task light. And this is made by Ryobi. It has two different folding uh, sectional lights that you can actually put down. And then, so let's say I put this here. I put it down, I can actually do a lot of weeding on top and do the pressing, whatever I really need to do as long as I have a heat barrier there. But it's important to have really good light doing this. So this fits right down inside perfectly. I put everything on top of it. That works out great. Let's go to the bottom.
Now down in the bottom, this is where I have all the rolls of materials such as vinyl, usable ink, uh, sticker papers down here. I do have my pressing mat down here. And I do have my computer down here as well. Uh, this does fit exact all of the pressing mats or the uh, sticky mats so you can do all of your cutting. And then I have my hat press that I made. I do have a video on this, so check that out if you're interested. Uh, hats and sleeves are what I use for this. So it fits right down in there. And then I also have the material cutter, the razor cutter down in here. I have laminating sheets. Really, whatever's needed goes in this big, large bottom bin. And then you stack them back up. Now what I do want to point out is that you have multiple working surfaces, so this is a flat working surface as well. So you can set up your press here, or essentially, actually, let me just show you, even on this bottom one, I can set the machine here, and it locks in, and it's not falling anywhere. Something that you'll notice is, <laughs> and you may wonder, why does this, uh, you know, not go anywhere. Well, I actually fabbed up so a wood base and I created a template. So let's look at the bottom. You see that? That wooden bottom actually fits perfectly inside of all these interlocking systems. So what I did is this is underlayment that you would use for under a floor. I created a template. I actually cut this out. In the center, you're going to see a gap. I put a half inch sheet of plywood in there. It's just a very small piece because that's how it interlocks here. I needed to elevate it, and then I put another piece of underlayment on top, and I made that 22 inches long by 10 to 3 quarter inches wide. So now I have a solid working base. It's safe, so I can sit it on tables as well. I don't have screws sticking out or anything like that. And then I can print, or sorry, and then I can cut, do whatever I really need with the machine itself on multiple surfaces it's not stationary and you have really everything that you need so i actually had a whole nother video set up showing you my mobile setup how everything gets deconstructed and reconstructed again however the audio was corrupt so i'm really sorry about that however i hope that this video was helpful to you and i hope that you got some good information out of it and showing you what maybe would work for you in a situation where you can move your entire setup around easily, maybe for a craft fair or vendor fair or something like that. Uh, so please uh, subscribe and like. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks, everybody. Bye now.